Hello, my name is David Seigen. I'm an ArcSight sales engineer for Microfocus. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about ArcSight smart connectors and how working with smart connectors can help to reduce the EPS in your environment, thereby saving you money. Smart connectors. Smart connectors go out into your network and they collect information and events from your devices. It then normalizes them and categorizes them. When it does so, it creates what we call a Ceph formatted file or a common event format file. Without this normalization and categorization, we see events here that are very difficult to read and hard to follow. However, when they are normalized and categorized, it becomes a lot easier to read. Your SOC analysts will find this easy to read. They don't have to be experts in networking to read these, to know that this came, you know, one event came from a Cisco uh, firewall, and then there's a, another one from a checkpoint firewall. And these both resulted in failures. These Ceph files can be used and consumed by most SIMs out there in the environment today. Step one, what we are going to do is install an ArcSight connector to process a, a native blue coat file. I've got this already set up. I've already installed it and it's ready to go. What we are going to do is read that blue coat file in as a baseline and write it out as a normalized and categorized Ceph file. We've already set up the input for with a blue coat log file, as you can see. The output will go into the blue code output directory. As I mentioned, I've already run this. If you were to run it, you uh, bring up the run ArcSight smart connectors and hit um, run the ArcSight smart connector, and it would process the file. As you can see, we have come up with 15 files here, basically adding up to uh, 1.5 gigabytes worth of data, and that amounts to about 1 million events. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to run a regex filter on the Ceph file. So when we read it in, we now have a capability with our smart connectors to do a regex filter. We're going to edit the agent properties file. We're going to set the regex enablement to true. And then we're going to enter this particular pattern to include for filtering. When we edit this uh, agent properties file and we inspect it, you will notice I've already entered those two lines in the file. So now we could run the smart connector just like before. And you'll notice I've already got the output and we, there are nine files here basically amounting to 819 megabytes worth of data and 584,000 events. So we've dropped from a million events down to 584,000 events, almost cutting it in half. Now we're not done, but we are going to move on to the second part where we will do normalized event filtering and then aggregation to reduce the EPS rates even further. In this part, we are going to work with normalized event filtering and aggregation. Step three, smart connector normalized event filtering. Once event data has been collected, normalized, and contextualized, an additional level of filtering can be added to refine the events further. All of our events are assigned an event severity. And in this exercise, we are going to filter out all of the low events. We will run agent setup batch file. That sets up this dialog in the ArcSight configure smart connectors dialog. We are going to filter out all of the severity equals low events. The rest of these get set to false. We will hit next and eventually edit and, and complete the edit of our smart connector. When we run it, the smart connector, run 
a ArcSight Smart Connector, we will end up with this. We are now seeing four files, each amounting to about 307 megabytes and 216,000 events, which is down from the 584,000 events we had um, through the regex example. Step four, aggregation. Once normalization and filtering have been done on event data, aggregation of the normalized and contextualized data can be done as well. We all know that devices in our environment can be very chatty and we can have over 100 events um, applying to the same event. So what we want to do is we want to aggregate those. In this exercise, over a 10 second window and up to 30 events within that window, we're going to aggregate or group these common fields and sum the total bytes in and bytes out over that window of time. In addition, we're going to include the count of events. To do that, we are going to run the run agent setup batch file again. That'll set up this particular dialog for updating the smart connector. The time interval is going to be 10 seconds, like we said. The event threshold is going to be 30 events. So once we hit 30 events, we're going to aggregate it. We're going to aggregate over these field names. And the fields to sum will be bytes in and bytes out. And we will preserve the common fields. We would hit next and update the smart connector. And then run the smart connector like we've been doing. And the result is a 54 megabyte file that is only 36,518 events. So you can see from our original baseline file of 1.5 gig, we've been able through regex and filtering out normalized severities and field-based aggregation, we've been able to reduce that down to 53.4 megabytes, a significant savings in storage space. In addition, we've been able to go from over a million events down to just 36,518 events, another significant amount. You know that SIMs charge based on the EPS rates. If we can help you go from over a million down to 36,518 events in this case, just think what we can do in your environment. Please think about utilizing smart connectors in your environment to reduce your EPS rates. This is David Seigen, and I thank you for listening.